So this video is about the penis and its related structures. So right, this whole thing is the penis. Over here you have the glands, which is the equivalent of the tip of the clitoris in that it has lots and lots of nerve endings and is very pleasurable there. Similarly, again, just like the vulva, here you've got the frenulum. And this is on the underside of the penis. So if someone has a penis and they're facing it, it's right over here. And it is very, very sensitive. Then we have, if this image had it, you would see foreskin. And so it might cover this area and then it can be pulled back. But a lot of people have also had, so some people have foreskin and some people with penises have had circumcision in which the foreskin is not there. Oh, is the urethra. And you guessed it, same as the vulva. Um, the urethra is where you pee from and also ejaculate. And then the urethra leads to the bladder since that is where pee does in fact come from. Okay, but you'll also notice that it's connected to this area, which is related to sperm and prostate fluid as it moves through the prostate. So there's other things that come out of the urethra besides urine. What's next? Here we have the scrotum, which is right the ball sack where the testes are, which is space where spermies live, where spermies live, and the scrotum rises and lowers based upon body temperature because sperm need to be kept at a slightly cooler temperature than the body. And so the scrotum allows the sperm to be housed in a space that does not get too hot. And it's also why it rises when it's cold. After that, we have the perineum. perineum. And similar again to people with vulvas, if you press in this area, it might feel sensitive and good. And is one way to um, reach some sort of, well, how am I going to say, <laughs> prostate pleasure. The prostate is kind of like the G-spot of people with penises.